Good morning, welcome to this week's video. This week is all about wedding outfits and the accessories and things that I wear and maybe you can get some tips or maybe you've got a few tips you could give me. Um, there's so many different styles depending on the different type of wedding but there are fail safes that I keep in my wardrobe that I know that I can just chuck on and there's a few bits that Anyway, enough rambling, um, I'm wearing a new dress, but I shall be wearing it with leggings because it's quite short. Um, this is from Primark and it's £6 and I just got it so it's still in the shops and it's a bit of a departure for me because it's quite, well, it's quite printed and stuff, um, quite close fitting, but I thought it might look nice. Um, it's a little bit darker so yeah tell me what you think and if you fancy one pick it up six quid not bad also I'm wearing um, a lipstick my friend got me my friend from work Arantia thank you Arantia she got she went back to Spain to see her family and have a bit of a holiday and she got me this lipstick um, I hope that's in focus. And it's a drugstore range. Apparently it's not expensive. But everybody goes crazy for it. And it's called... The shade is called Barra Labios Matte. Uh, shade 14. I don't, you know, I don't obviously know the translation. Um, and it's this colour. It's like a reddish, it's like a terracotta red. Yeah, terracotta reddy brown. And it's matte. But it's really creamy, so it goes on really easily. It looks lovely on her because she's got a warmer skin tone than me. Mine's quite cool. But I really do like it and I thank you very much because I was raving on and on to her about this lipstick. I said, it looks lovely on you, so lovely, la la la, and she went and got me one, bless her. So thank you, Arantia, thank you very much. And I shall have to pick you a present up. Right, so that's that, let's get into it then. So there'll be cutaways and there'll be actual belongings. So. The first thing I'm going to pick up is this dress. I've worn this to two weddings, my brother's and my stepdaughter's um, to be. And it's a pinky silvery shimmer. And I have to keep it in a bag, you know, a clothes bag because um, glittery bits come off it all the time, shimmery bits. And in the front, it's got um, this detail, so it sort of creates, oh, I don't know what you would call it, a ruching across your stomach, so it's quite flattering. It's fitted, but it's stretchy. Um, and I find, when I put it on, I was trying loads of things on, I remember, and when I put it on, it just felt instantly comfortable, and it looked great, and I just knew then. Since then I've got a bit bigger and it's still fine, so I know that I can go to this one and it's a good one. So I've worn it with this um, brownie with silver scarf through it. I wore this as a wrap. And I wore these shoes. And I took this bag and then the piece de resistance. I wore this mad fascinator. Um, I might keep this in, keep my hair bloody under control. Oh, sorry, I was swearing then. I keep this in to keep my hair under control. So that's one of the looks I wore with it and then this time around I wore it with this white jacket 
it's unstructured, unlined, very soft. I got it from New Look. They still do these this year. They were really popular and they've done them again. And I was going to wear it with these shoes, but as we know, they hurt me. So I ended up wearing it with those shoes. Um, I need to up my shoe game, I really do. Just because I can't wear heels doesn't mean I can't look good. And I wore this bag, but I didn't wear a Fascinator this time. Because I've had a few comments about Fascinators. Some people really like them and some people don't. And I always say, wear what you want to wear. But I thought maybe I've overdone the fascinator maybe I could change it up so I I didn't wear one this time but actually I do like them because you know I, I would normally wear my hair down for a wedding and it can be a bit boring so yeah I quite like them I think next wedding I go to I'll definitely be wearing a fascinator so that white jacket is going to make a reappearance then to another wedding I wore this ASOS dress also oh, I didn't say where that dress was from that dress was from Debenhams and the scarf was from Debenhams the bag was from New Look the shoes were from Dorothy Perkins and this was from I can't remember where it's from. Is it from Debenhams or it was from Monsoon or it was from Debenhams? I think it was from Debenhams. Anyway, this one is from ASOS and it's a scuba material. So, what I like about it is it's fitted, it's stretchy, but it also holds you. Um, and I really, I really like this one. It's like a sort of, oh I can't describe it, I'll show you, there you are. And you can pick out any one of these colours, that's what makes it versatile. And I was going to wear that with the white jacket, quite happily, had that planned. And then I saw this in Evans for £10 on sale. Just a loose unstructured with a little fold over collar and I thought wow ten pounds I need that and I wore that with that and then I had this from next I'm thinking is that all I wore Sadly, I wore these. I must find a really nice pair of white shoes that I can, you know, that are a little bit nicer. I can't remember what jewellery and stuff I wore. I'm sure I had pink nails. So, and I'll insert a picture. And I borrowed my mum's little fascinator. She's got a little one. Not so big and in your face. Um, and yeah, that was... A really easy bright lovely um, look and I wore a pink lip you know it's easy to accessorize so that was um, look number two then I've worn this for the evening but I plan to wear this for any wedding that's coming up because I didn't really get to wear it that much and this is an orangey red, it's probably coming up orange, lace dress and it's like um, an eyelash lace. I don't know if I'm showing this very well. And I won't have an insert of this unless I style it up. Um, and so it's got a top bit that overhangs the bottom bit. It's not too fitted but it's fitted enough. It's from Sainsbury's and it's Gokwan, 
cock one for two and I love it I love it I plan to wear it and I did wear it that night and it kept me lovely and warm because we were by the sea with this um, shawl I got in Capri and it's got a little pearl beading on the end and you just it's like a little poncho um, obviously they have really 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 expensive ones depending what it's made of this was mid-range so I think it's got some merino in it excuse me <coughs> you know what time it is it's tea o'clock time um, yeah, so I plan to wear that over the top, like I did before. That might be a bit much, the red one. But I'd like to get some pearl accessories. So I have, I do have some pearls, but I plan to maybe get a pearl encrusted bag or some shoes because I've seen those about and I thought that would bring that detail out and then if I wear this with anything else it's quite a nice summer sort of chuck on kind of thing in the evening then it'll tie it in am I making any sense moving on to the next one I have pictures of this um, but I don't have the dress I wore this with anymore I had the dress already and I was thinking I really want to wear that dress but how am I going to style it up and then I saw this in warehouse and they had a top dress a skirt I think they had a whole range but they had this scarf and I mean it's huge I've used it as a sarong it's huge it's huge and it's gorgeous it's absolutely beautiful um, and so I wore this, sort of wrapped around it, and I really love it. Um, I haven't, like I say, I wear it in the summer, I wear it as a wrap, I wear it as a sarong. Uh, if you're wearing something plain, it can zhuzh it up. I have to keep it out because otherwise I forget about it, and I really like it. And the orange dress was from ASOS. And I wore some gold wedgies that I don't have anymore. They were from Dorothy Perkins. Yeah, I really um yeah, I really like this. And sometimes that's all you need. You don't need to buy anything new, like the whole outfit. All you need to do is just buy something to freshen something up. And you've got a whole new outfit before you know it. The next thing I go to, which is a bit of a different shape because they've all been quite fitted silhouettes, is a 50 shape. So I got this from Evans when it was in British Home Stores, which is no longer. Um, and it's sheer at the top. It has a flattering sweetheart fitted waist it has um, a tie you know a belt and then it goes out into a 50 shape it has a underskirt but it's not too puffy it's not too much and here's a picture of it and I love it I absolutely love it and this is by Scarlet and Joe and they do a lot of 50s retro stuff and I've been looking on there for bridesmaid dresses and I've seen some lovely ones, but um, my bridesmaids, I think, are going to prefer to wear something different. So, But if you like this style and you like this shape, and I'm not sure what size they start from, maybe a 14. I'm completely wrong. I will write the information as I'm talking about it. Um, but yeah, if you like this style, definitely have a look at Scarlet and Joe. And I wore that with a 
with this as you can see I'm not shy I don't like small fascinators I like big ones and I had this oh my god Primark 50s I love the knobbly bobbles cream and black quite inoffensive it was cheap so cheap I can't remember how much now but it was so 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 cheap and to me it's just perfect it's perfection and it just goes so well with that um, I don't have the shoes I wore anymore I had suede red peep toe shoes with a heel I can't wear those anymore but it looked lovely I do assure you um, right Ooh, get into a big pile getting on to things that I haven't worn yet I did get this for my stepdaughter to be her wedding and I didn't wear it in the end because um, I couldn't find the accessories I wanted so probably what I'm going to do is be a bit canny and in the summer sale pick up some bits that I think will go with this so I could wear it with the white jacket I could pick up the blue the green I could go with yellow um, there's grey in there and I really thought this was a lovely um, spring spring summer dress it has pockets what a bonus I didn't know it had pockets at the time it's got a little split at the back if there's still a picture on the website I will post it here and yeah I can see it's a favorite style of mine it's an easy style they go in the sale I can pick them up for 20 something quid then and I really like them they suit me I think they suit me and the scuba style the material not everyone likes that material but I think that for my shape um, and what I want, it, it really does help me because it tends to hold me and smooth me down. So, yes, that's what I was saying about that. Do you know what? <laughs> I'm overwhelmed because I keep looking over here and I think, oh my God, I haven't even gone into all that yet. <clears throat> so the next thing I got was a bit of a whim and I think that I, oh that says, that says £30 but I know it wasn't, um, this bandage style dress it's very stiff, um, it has thick straps which I like because it won't show my bra, my rather hefty sturdy bra and it has lots of give, it's got a good shape, look at those hips to waist ratio, that's going to look great um, it's a really bright blue and I instantly saw it across New Look floor and I thought yes that's a dress I need to get because it's bright it's simple and you can dress it up any way you like because it's plain so what I would have liked to have done is get they've got a bag in New Look an oriental blue post it here blue bag and dress it up that way and so I'm bringing in a trend I'm keeping it classic so yeah I haven't worn that one yet invite me to a wedding and I will or a special occasion actually I'm expecting a nephew soon so maybe he'll have a blessing or a christening then getting on to a top I got this for, I wore this for my birthday and it, it's classic Dorothy Perkins with a jeweled top, quite a thick um, material, it's a lovely lovely shade of pink, it's, it has tiny little splits at the side. I wore this with dark blue jeans and I thought it looked really nice, sort of a pop of colour. Um, that's doing all the work for you so for a wedding 
pair of trousers, a pair of culottes, a little jacket, um, a fitted skirt, any kind of skirt really. Um, if you're into separates rather than dresses, if you want to wear trousers, then a dressy top, you can't go wrong. And yeah, that would go with the pink bag. I also have this pink bag, pink and gold and blue, that I begged Jen for and she gave it to me because she's a kind, generous, wonderful person. The next thing, I haven't worn these and I'm debating whether I'm ever going to wear them, so they may come out of my wardrobe. Oh yes, that blue dress was 15, it was originally 30 and I got it for 15. And the pink top, I can't remember now. They still do them, I think. It's a really popular, it's a Dorothy Perkins kind of style. These trousers, now they look wild. They're a lovely, thick, I would say cotton, but they're slightly brushed. The attention to detail, that's satin. The colours are amazing. It has pockets. They were £30 and I got them for 9 and they were available in two leg lengths and they were by Got Kwan. Um, so, how would I style these? A jacket? A top? Some great shoes, if I could wear great shoes. And a lovely bag. Um, yeah. Not those. This could bring out the jungle element. We could go for a red shoe, you could go for the green, you could go for the white, or the, it's more of a cream. You could go for the orangey red. So, yeah, you could make these very dressy. They are not a casual trouser, just the material alone, they're not casual, they're more dressy than that like a nice lunch, a you could dress them up for a wedding, um, a special occasion. So yeah, they're not a casual kind of thing. Let me know if you're going to any weddings and you can always send me pictures. Um, I've got my Facebook page and I've got my, what else have I got, Instagram, yeah so at Miss Spent Day all at Miss Spent Day so you can um, send me pictures or any comments or if there's anything that you know I could change up my style a bit because um, because we don't go to weddings all the time you do get in a style rut don't you I mean I like jumpsuits I think they look amazing but I haven't found one that suits me um i like trousers like the floral trouser suits i think culottes obviously for other people the off the shoulder bardo look how lovely is that with all the florals and the floaty dresses about now such lovely um occasion wear and you can get it from anywhere now so experiment is what I say and it's a chance to wear something you wouldn't normally wear or be a bit bolder or excuse me over accessorize and just go for it look fabulous be the most fabulous obviously don't outdo the bride and that gets me on to my last clothing item which is white and white as we know is a no-no unless specified so this is a what kind of skirt um what kind of skirt is that when it what a line is it so it has a lining to that point and then after that you see a beautiful cut out um pattern and it is beautiful absolutely beautiful it's really light and so you can't do white so what you do is you pick a colour you love what would I like to wear with this 
I'd like to wear a candy pink or a blue, some kind of blue. I'm not going to say red. I always wear red. So, or yellow. Sounds good. No, I'll go with candy pink. So, for me, candy pink. Candy pink top. Little jacket. Or a cardigan. Shrug some matching shoes, bag, and the only white thing is this skirt. So you're not wearing a white outfit, you just have one element that's white. And I think that's such a lovely, lovely thing. And where did I get it from? I got it from Select, and it was under £20. I know, it's unbelievable, the quality of it. The detail it's just it's just lovely absolutely lovely so those are the clothing bits I have accessories I have this bag which I wore with the red lace dress this fits nothing in it but it's absolutely stunning um, I'll show you Let's see because it's so narrow you know it's just for show it's just a lovely little thing and that's why I love my clutch bags because um, they're for evenings and they're for special occasions and I got given this one for Christmas which I haven't worn yet actually and I should and it's an envelope one it's really big and squishy um, and yeah, I do love it, but I haven't had a chance to wear it anywhere. I don't go out as much, but I shall try. So yeah, there's that bag. So I would say a good clutch bag. There's nothing worse, nothing worse. Well, there are worse things in the world. When you're at a wedding, pretty much like these vile shoes, you look at the whole outfit and then you see those and you think, oh my God, what has she done? When you see somebody in a lovely outfit, hair, makeup, nails, beautiful outfit, and then they have some big up old bag on their shoulder and you think, what? You didn't. Oh, you did. Oh, but I needed to bring this, this and this and this. Well, have that bag. Don't carry it. Leave it to the husband. Leave it to the plus one. Be carrying your lipstick, your money, and that's it. Some paper, what do they call them? Powder things. I don't know. I don't like it. It makes me feel sad. It makes me feel, oh, oh dear. Just as much as somebody seeing my ugly shoes would think, oh dear. Anyway, I won't go on about that. There are some fail-safe jewellery bits that I always have. These have been to a lot of weddings. So. They're clear. They're inoffensive. They're a bit sparkly. Um, and yeah, they just do the work. I used to have a necklace, but it discoloured. But these have their shape and I didn't buy these together these were from Claire's and this was from I don't know I don't know where this was from but I love those another fail safe is just a plain pair of gold hoops and a plain pair of silver hoops Sometimes you don't want your earrings to say too much. Another thing. This is quite a good one. It's got a lot of colours in. Um, this is a nice one. And those two go together, kind of. I wore this, I wear this quite a lot, 
it's quite simple. I got this in Accessorize. Um, I think I told you the story when my father was in hospital. And I don't know if it's dulling down now. It's not as bright as it was, but it's still lovely. And I really do like that. I've got this, simple, very sparkly. This is from a friend of mine, Mimi. Um, she got it for me some years ago now, from Next I think. And it just picks up the light, it's really simple. I really do like that. I wear that quite often to special occasions. I recently got these lovely earrings. You've seen them before. So they're a new addition to dressing up. I'll call it dressing up. Swarovski the brown sort of sparkly necklace and bracelet. It can be either or. And the blue one which would look fabulous with that blue dress. So, yeah, I love dressing up. I love dressing up. I do like to be casual most of the time, and I think because I'm casual, that's why I love to dress up. I do have some shoes, but they're mostly flat. These are iridescent. If you're having a beach wedding, these are jeweled any jeweled sandals if you can get them with a little heel that's better these I haven't worn yet I'm waiting for the Sun and they are rock stars. I don't know if they're they'd look nice with a maxi dress definitely um, I have to get rid of those white sandals I do don't I not for everyday kind of wear but no more weddings no I'm ashamed. I am truly ashamed. These, I love the effect of these, um, like a bronze. And this looks wooden, but it's not. So I don't have many shoes. I'm in a real shoe dilemma. I need to, like I say, I need to up my shoe game. But I think that's it, really. I hope you found this interesting. Um, like I say, wedding style can be anything you want it to be, but try not to play it safe. Try and be bold and bright and say you like pink. You wear pink a lot. Say, oh, I wear pink, pale pink. Go overboard with it. Go crazy. Get a pink fascinator. Get a pink hat. Get pink nails. Have a pink bag. Do it. If you're going to do it, do it. Be bold, be bright, be sassy, be wonderful, be fabulous, be all those things. Be over, over accessorised. Be like, oh yeah, 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 it's working from here to here. Yeah, and I'll take my own advice as well. I hope you have a lovely week. I hope if you're going to some weddings that I've given you a few ideas on what to do and not what to do. Um, I'm sure most of it you know yourselves and I'm sure that you look fabulous. But if I've helped a little bit, then I'm glad. As always, it's really difficult to end these videos because I love talking so much and I love talking to you guys. So until next week, have a wonderful week and I'll see you soon. Bye.